We have actually been calling uh, a couple of weeks ago for more significant monetary easing. And in fact, in the past weeks, uh, we've seen the State Council have announced the further targeted easing measures in terms of cutting the requ reserve requirement for banks uh, selectively and also in expanding the relending to the small enterprise. Also last Friday, we have the bank regulators announcing uh, they will change the loan to deposit regulation to expand bank lending and lower financing cost. But that being said, I think the government indeed need a bit more further monetary easing, especially if the premier is very keen, looks very keen to uh, uh, to achieve the 7.5 percent growth target for this year. And on the back of the property market correction, would you say that if there isn't a rate cut, that 7.5 percent growth target is at risk? Indeed, I think even though the first quarter GDP growth was at 7.4 percent, and the ongoing property market correction, and with, uh, which likely will drag down the prop, uh, property investment and the overall investment and activities, and I definitely see that the growth uh, are facing some further downside risk this year. So more po policy easing and uh, possibly in the form of interest rate cut or targeted interest rate cut to lower the financing cost of the real economy is necessary.